wouldn't it be great if you knew what percentage of your sales went towards your bills? Like how much did you spend on advertising or even the repairs and maintenance on those trucks that you have? Listen, I'm a huge fan of knowing the percentages on your profit and loss. And today I'm going to show you how to do that calculation and talk about why this is so important for you to know. The first concept that you need to understand is that everything is a percentage of sales. Let me explain. Think about it this way. For every dollar you take in, you turn around and do something with that dollar. For example, let's say you take in $100 from a sale. Some of that money is going to go towards the materials or ingredients that you used. Some of it's going to go towards your labor costs, and then some are going to go towards bills for operating the business. But the money that's left over still has to pay for taxes, keeping money inside of the business for future growth, and some of it you're going to take out for your owner's draw. No matter what you spend that money on, it will all add up to 100% of the original $100. Think of it as a pie. Some people will have large pieces of your pie, some will have smaller pieces of your pie, but at the end of the day, the pie so good, all of it is eaten. The way we track all of this in your business is on your profit and loss statement. Here is an example of a profit and loss, and you will see here that we have our main categories. Sales is all the money coming in, so the total of your pie, if you will. Then comes out the cost of goods, which is the materials, ingredients, plus any labor costs to either make the product or to provide the service. The next section is all the operational costs to run the business. For example, advertising, repair and maintenance, insurance, just to name a few. Finally, we end up with our profits, but this is where your money goes towards taxes, money you plan to retain in the business, and any owner's draw. So looking closer at our example PL, we see that our sales came in at $36,341, the total of our pie. The cost of goods came to $17,468, our operational cost came to $7,501, and our profit came to $11,371. So far, the numbers look really good but what percentage went out for each of these categories. And this is a pretty easy calculation to do. The main thing is you must keep in mind what I said earlier. Everything is a percentage of sales or a piece of the pie that we start with. And here's the cool part. You can use a calculator to figure this out. You only need two numbers. The first is what we started with, which is total sales. We then take the item that we want to know the percentage of. Let's start with cost of goods. If our cost of goods are 17,469, and yes, I'm going to be rounding up for this exercise, then we will take that number and divide it by the total sales of 36,342. This gives us 0.48. Now you might recall from your earlier torturous math classes, you just wanna move the decimal over two points to get the percentage. So that tells us that it's 48%. Now, technically, for the math nerds, you are multiplying it by 100, but I find moving the decimal is way easier. Let's do another one. Let's pretend that you want to know what your operational costs are running you. You grab your P&L and you see that it's $7,501. We also know that everything is a percentage of sales. So we take this 7501 and divide it by our sales of 36342 and we get 0 0.206. We move that decimal over two places and we get 20.6%. Now you know that your cost of goods ran 48% last month and your operational costs were 20.6%. But how much profit did you make? We go back to our P&L and we see that our profit was 11,372. We now take that and divide it by the total sales and we get 0.313. Move that decimal two places and we get 31.3%. Not bad at all. That's a very good profit. But here's the cool thing. You can do way more with this than just the big categories on your PL. What if you could do this by a specific expense, like advertising or repairs to your work vehicles? Let's use our current PL and look at advertising. The formula doesn't change, just the number we plug in. We go back to our PL and we see that we spent $747 on advertising. We then divide that by our total sales of $36,342 and we get 0.020. Move that decimal two places and we have 2%. Since most folks spend 5% or more on advertising, we know that, hey, we might be a little low over here. Could we spend more money? But let's say you spent $2,000 on an advertising campaign over the last quarter. And now you want to know what percentage you spent of your money on that advertising campaign. You look up your sales from the past quarter because you want to compare apples to apples. And you see that your total sales during the same time frame was $35,000. So we take our $2,000 and divide it by our sales of $35,000 and we get 0.057 or 5.7%. 5 
not too bad. Now we just need to make sure that we get a return on this money so that way we get it to come back to us. But that's a video for a different day. Okay, one more example. Let's pretend for a second that this year we spent 13,500 on repairs to our equipment and our sales year to date are $99,000. We wanna know what percentage of our money has gone towards all these repairs. We then take our 13,500 and divide it by the 99,000 in sales and we discover that our repairs cost us 0.136 or 13.6% of every dollar we made. Ouch. It might be time to stop the bleeding and invest in some newer equipment because the band-aids aren't helping and it's costing us a lot of money. Now, here's the cool thing that many of you aren't taking advantage of. If you use a bookkeeping system, there might be an option to toggle on the percentages. This way, it's automatically calculated it out for you. And if you use a bookkeeper, ask them about having this turned on for all of your profit and loss statements. Heck, even ask for one for each month that has already passed. You can go back and see what your trends have been month by month. This way you can start looking at how this year is going so far. Percentages give you a great insight into where your money is going. And hopefully you found this video helpful and you want to learn even more about your profit and loss. If so, check out this video here.